So in the previous two videos of mine, which has been uploaded into YouTube, we have understood how to build a load test. Some people call it as a peak load test as well. And then we have built, we have seen how to build a stress test. Okay, on the controller. Now we will look at the next test, how to build this one, which is the so called endurance test. By the way, these, all these three tests are important or mandatory, the load test, the stress test and the endurance test. So I'm assuming that you have watched those two videos and you are watching this video and based on that I've created this video. Individually, if you're seeing this video, certain parts of it you might not understand. Okay, so uh, but you know you still go, you still can go ahead and uh, watch this video because it, it is hardly 5 to 10 minutes. It doesn't consume too much of your time. So let's go ahead and before uh, starting, you know, I have a badge starting on 29th of this month. Uh, performance testing using Load Runner Advanced Plus Basics. You'll be learning all the advanced topics. Okay, so mostly it's interview oriented uh, training. So if you're working and you're getting ready for the interview and not confident, okay, so you, these are the people who can definitely attend and somebody who doesn't have knowledge on this or manu doing manual testing and wants to uh, wants to move into performance testing, yeah, this course is perfectly for them as well. And somebody who doesn't have any knowledge and wants to get started, definitely this course will add a lot of value as it covers the basics and the advanced. For the trainings, you can contact 801-995-2427. Or you can look, you can visit my website, ishatrainingsolutions.org, or you can send out an email on this one, kgupta.testingtraining at gmail.com. Well, as I've told you, now we're going to see how to build a soak and endurance test. Uh, the video is not to explain what is a soak and endurance test. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming that you already know what it is, and then the video is only concentrating on how to build a soak and endurance test on the controller. I should have said on the controller. So, uh, but once you know how to build it on controller on other things also you will be able to and other tools you'll be able to build it like JMeter uh, or a rational performance test or a Neo load. Well, <coughs> let's look at this one. If you watch the, if you watch my earlier video, you'd know that this is, this is a load test. Okay. So you would have a ramp up and a ramp down and a steady state. Okay. This should have been 40 users guys. Sorry about that. This should have been 40 users. Okay. So let me change that accordingly. <coughs> so this will become 28. Okay. I'll tell you why it has become 28 shortly. <coughs> okay. So this is the load test we have been I mean this 40 number if you are wondering you have to watch my previous two videos so I'm assuming that you know the load test is done for 40 users if you're wondering why 40 <coughs> you see this is the workload modeling okay this is the workload modeling sheet typically given by your lead and here for our uh, purposes what I assume that we have three three scripts book flight script cancel flight script and register user script and for book flight script after you have done workload modeling, you've figured out that you need to run this one with 25 users. This is 10 users and this is five users. So you add up all of that, you get to 40 users. If you're wondering why 40, okay? So yes, so this is ramp up, steady state and ramp down. If, and then the workload modeling sheet and this, this particular uh, 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 workload has been clearly discussed in my earlier videos where I have explained about how to build a load test. So that's what it is. So you have a ramp up steady state and a ramp down. And for the stress test, you don't have a ramp up ramp down. All you have is a ramp up, keep increasing, keep increasing until, until you get the breaking point. Assume that somewhere over here, you got the breaking point. And that's the purpose of uh, doing a uh, stress test. Okay. So you have a load test and you have a stress test. Now the third test is the endurance test. Okay. Third test is the endurance test. Now let's... <coughs> Now let's cut. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's in Hyderabad and uh, it's kind of cold. You know, it's almost getting into winters. So um, whenever there is a season change, I have these issues. Yeah, coming back to this endurance test or the soak test. As the name suggests, endurance. Endurance means something you do for longer period of time and you endure it. Okay. <coughs> 
or some people call it as a soak test always remember soaking usually done for longer period of times go back to your childhood days okay especially people in india so you uh, i remember um, my <coughs> so i remember my mother used to soak my uh, clothes not clothes any my, not my clothes any clothes soak the clothes overnight okay so that all the dirt on it goes away so soaking usually done for longer period of times so soak or endurance test means a test which is done for longer period of times which is kind of evident over here you see this is the scenario elapsed time on the x axis or the time for which how long you are running the test so you see you are running the test for a really long time so load test you know it is run for 1 hour so typically a soak test is run for 8 hours guys typically a soak test or an endurance test is run for 8 hours even though in the picture it looks more like 2 or 3 hours but typically it is run for 8 hours and here also you have a ramp up and you are away ramp down okay ramp up ramp down anywhere you will have it ramp up ramp down is to facilitate that you don't have you are not suddenly uh, loading the servers with a with a lot of load and one more thing you would have noticed that the soak test is done with typically less than the load test or the peak load test so here the load test is done with 40 users so the endurance or the soak test typically done with 70% of the load test so here you are done with done with 40 users so 70% of 40 is approximately 27 28 users so you round it off to 28 users so you are running you are running the soak or endurance test with 28 users so why 70% of it yeah some people run it with 50% as well but it's up to you how your organization um, uh, as a test manager or a performance test manager i have set up this uh, kind of you know thing for complete my complete team that any soak test should be run with 70% and before you decide certain things like this you take you take a sign off uh, from your client typically you put all this on your test plan and once you, you need not have to take a sign off for each test okay you put all the information like this so endurance how you going to plan to do this test load test stress test all that in the test plan and once you take a sign off for the test plan right you are basically taking the sign off for all this okay so you need not have to specifically take the sign off for each and every single test and each every single information typically all this information goes in the test plan and once you take the sign off on the test plan basically you kind of you know uh, what do you say uh, you kind of taking the sign off on all these things so you it's a, it's a rule of thumb lot of people follow soak test is done with 70% of the peak load test or the load test <coughs> as i've shown you this is the workload modeling sheet so the for the book flight it's 25 users cancel flight 10 users register user 5 users okay so you you make the same workload for the soak test you take the 70% of each one 25 users 70% of 25 users is close to 17 to 18 users 70% uh, of 10 users is 7 users and 70% of 5 users is 3 users you add up all that this is 28 users okay so that's what i've told you 28 users so this is the workload modeling sheet for your soak test how did you do it take the workload modeling sheet of your load test and do a 70% of each one of them okay then you get these numbers so 70% of 28 users is 18 users 70% of 10 users is 7 users and 70% of 5 users is close to i would say 3 to 4 users okay so you cannot have fractional number of users so that's why you round it off to the nearest integer now we will build our soak test on these numbers here so let's go to the controller part let's to, let's go to the controller and we'll keep the workload modeling sheet aside so that we build we will build our soak test based on this one okay make sure it's a manual test scenario now you keep adding all the scripts okay book flight script you add it oh oh yeah cancel flight script you add it and register okay you have added all the scripts you have the, this by default sometimes based on your controller settings it will be uh, disabled you know what needs to be done for this to be enabled just change this to basic schedule scenario in the basic schedule and <coughs> you would know 
you, you this becomes editable and why this basic schedule what is this real world schedule yes you would have to take my classes guys so in that you know on the controller itself i spent typically three to four days like good solid six hours on this controller so that you will get a complete hold of this controller anyways so coming back to it book flight is 18 then 7 and then 3 okay book flight cancel flight register user so put the numbers over here 17 7 and 3 so this is this is 17 or 18 the 18 sorry <coughs> wonderful guys so you have 70 18 7 and 3 beautiful the load generators is the local host everything is done before going ahead and saving you have to change the pacing for each one of them pacing 160 80 and 72 so for the first group the pacing is 160 so go to the uh, runtime settings of the first group okay and make this as <coughs> make this as 160 similarly you change the runtime settings i mean pacing of these two groups as well i'll change it for one more group which is 80 so i'll change it for the second group okay and you can do that for the last one as well which is 72 okay i'll leave it to you so that you can do it now you see the workload it is still all you have is just a ramp up and there is no uh, steady state so you're gonna go change it what do you want you want something like this a ramp up steady state and ramp down okay ramp up steady state and ramp down that's what you want so ramp up can be defined using this action called start users okay as i've told you usually the industry standard is uh, i don't say industry standard but a lot of people use this five users for 30 seconds so i'll go with that same one some users some people say two users for 30 seconds so depending <coughs> depending on how you want it two users for 30 seconds okay sorry about the sneezing guys i'm not able to control okay i really wanted to do this video because some of the students wanted it so i have a lot of cough and uh, this thing I, I think it will go away in a couple of days but you know i just need this video going so uh, i'm just doing uh, i'm excuse excuse me for all the sneezing and coughing okay then typically as i've told you the endurance test is done for eight hours so duration this action double click on this action and go ahead and do an eight hours okay so make sure this is just observe that notice that this is hour hour minute minute and second second that's what you have done here okay and you can also observe that the workload has changed here so ramp up and steady state and you can room do a ramp down as well ramp down is done using this action called stop users stop users you can say five users for every 15 seconds apply okay okay now you can save it save it as a soap test you see so your soap test is ready guys congratulations you have done your soap test or you have designed your soap test now you can go ahead and run this test if you wanted it okay so this is how you design the soap test and do do know that there is no button on the controller for the soap test so i am repeating this button thing because a lot of people ask me where is the button i've opened the controller where is the button for soap test no how you design this how you given this number of users how you design this workload and how you design this one you know how you how you design this whole thing in the design tab will tell you if that test is a soap test or a load test or an endurance test or a stress test or a scalability test so in the next video we will look at what is a scalability test